Hello all, in this video we are going to be setting up Godot for Android export. Okay, let's get to it. Let's create a new UI scene and call it test. We're going to add a color rec to the scene. Then in the inspector, select a color. Doesn't matter which color, just make sure it stands out. And that's it for the test scene. This test scene exists to provide visual feedback for exporting to our phones. To export, first we must download Android Studio, link in the description, then go through the install and setup. Once you get to the screen, you're done. Exit Android Studio. Next, we must install the JDK. Make sure that you select the correct operating system before you download the JDK. I chose the x64 installer for Windows. Let's go ahead and download our export templates. Go to Editor, Manage Export Templates, select Download and Install. Next, we are going to create a helper file to help make this process a bit simpler. Right click anywhere on your desktop and create a new file. Now type SDK path and hit enter. Navigate to the app data folder by pressing the Windows button and typing percent app data percent with no spaces. Go to Android and then SDK. Copy the path for SDK folder. Back in the helper file, paste the path under SDK path. On the next line, type JDK bin path and hit enter. We will now get the path for our JDK binary. In file explorer, navigate to C, program files, Java, JDK21, bin, then copy the path to the bin folder. Paste that under JDK bin path in the helper file. Next type keystore gen command. I have a command in the description. Go ahead and copy it, then paste it in the helper file. Next, we must add the path for the Android SDK to get done. Go to editor, editor settings, then to export Android. Copy the SDK path from the helper file. Paste that path in the option for Android SDK path. Open up a command prompt by pressing Windows button and typing CMD. Change directories into the JDK bin path from the helper file. Copy the key store generation command from the helper file and paste it and then hit enter. Back in editor, editor settings in the debug key store field. Copy then paste the path for the JDK bin folder. Select the folder icon next to the path, navigate to the bin folder, then select the file called debug.keystore. Make sure these fields are filled in like so. Head to project, project settings, and in the search bar, type import etc. Under VRAM compression, select the button for import etc2, then restart the editor. To export, go to project, export, select add, then select the Android option. When you are ready to export your project, you will be prompted to create a unique name. In the Android export settings, go to Package, Unique Name. Rename the package. Give your project a name as well. This is what will show up on your phone. Once all that is squared away, select your export path, not inside your Godot project. Type goalstoot.apk then save. Select the export button. There will be an option to export with debug. Make sure it's checked, then save. All right, so we have the Android export set up. Now let's get your mobile device set up for one-click deploy. Now there is a difference between exporting the APK and one-click deploy. The APK is a file containing your game that you can share with your friends or whatever and one-click deploy will export the project on the device that you have plugged into your computer. First, we will have to enable the developer options on your phone. Go to settings, select about phone, then select software information. Go to the section called build number and tap it repeatedly until you receive a notification that says the developer options have been enabled. Go back to settings and scroll down to the bottom and select developer options. Scroll down to USB debugging and turn it on. 
Now that your device is ready, we should be able to one-click deploy so that we can easily test the game. At this point, you need to have your phone plugged into your computer. Make sure that it's unlocked and that you have cleared any permissions necessary to access files on your phone. Go ahead and click on that icon, select your device, and the project will be exported to your phone. Cool, so now we can work on the game and test it in the editor as well as on our mobile devices. In the following video, we will be organizing our project structure. Till next time! Thank you.